free of, free of them, so I am not, easy not sure if, it worth, here. if it's worth to uh, use them like projecting them like we did with the infrared. Because we, I had quite a lot of them, so I got this one uh, as well, a color and model. But uh, at least one just to show that uh, it can be done. Uh, yeah, exactly, because it's it. Was a very the 3D model is, uh, is it's interesting as a concept for being uh, like the, the reference for uh, putting all the documentation data because mm -hmm. everything that almost everything that you do here refers to the surface of all the appearance of the objects. So it was a, like a series of turns around mm -hmm. the object with different. Uh, um, uh, orientation with respect to the object. object. So each, each single element you see is a, is a different image that was used for the generation of the model. You can also like merge the, the, the model. Would you, would you like to put uh, in the same context the images taken for the construction and the infrared? You can do that and make a unique. Uh, you can remove some of them because they are too much. You can do them. You can create uh, several uh, versions of the same. After a while, I had only one. I was uh, I was um, what could aligning it, but uh, just need a few minutes, and okay. I was sure components uh, might be used. Mm -hmm. Use them like projecting them, like we did with the infrared. Because we, I had quite a lot of them, so I got this final. Uh, oh, I found this. Uh, this on this point where I want to add some information, you just like double click here and you add a point yeah. and uh, an annotation mm -hmm. and, 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 uh, and all these things that you can do with MeshLab essentially, you, you can discover them by themselves.